Ever since the hit reality show Storage Wars premiered, we have seen a lot of both interesting and ordinary items that were stashed away a long time ago. Depending on their condition and some other factors, even ordinary items can be high in value, just like the crazy ones. Still, sometimes you just don't know what to expect while digging through somebody's long forgotten locker, and in today's video we'll be checking out 10 storage unit finds that shocked everyone, so stay tuned. In the last episode of Season 1, Daryl tried to get Dave to purchase a locker that he believed was bad but funnily enough, his plan went south and he had to pay 250 bucks for it. After the auction ended, Daryl and Brandon set out to search the locker and after going through everything and concluding that they at least got their money back, Daryl stumbled upon a small and unusual item made of brass that he compared to a tiny music box. Unsure what it was, he decided to have it checked out and what he learned pretty much shocked him. As it turned out, the item in question was an antique medical bleeder from 1850s, also known as Carificator, used to drain blood from a person that was afflicted from all sorts of different diseases. As Daryl learned, back in the day people believed that blood had to be drained out of the body so that the fluids inside the body would be balanced. The 18th episode of Season 8 was rightfully titled Buys and Dolls thanks to Jared's and Brandy's find that was as creepy as it was shocking. After purchasing a locker, the couple found out that there wasn't anything much to it except a very old trunk. Once they opened the trunk, however, they found lots of clothes inside and among them, much to Brandy's shock, was this creepy vintage doll. After checking the broken doll out and realizing that it definitely had skin issues, Jared started messing around with it just to make Brandy face her fears as the doll freaked her out big time. The couple realized that it could be valuable despite its unsettling appearance, so they visited an expert who ultimately estimated its value at around $50, which didn't make the find any less shocking as it had been stashed in that old trunk probably since the 30s. Dave Hester has certainly had his fair share of memorable finds, but according to him, the weirdest and most shocking was the one from the 18th episode of the first season. While going through a locker he had purchased, Dave stumbled upon a shocking discovery, a complete collection of human bones, including hands, arms, and even the skull. Dave initially wasn't sure whether or not the skeleton parts were real, and if they were, whether or not he found the remains of a homicide victim, so he took everything to the coroner to check it out. Fortunately, it turned out that even though the bones were real, they were not tied to any actual crime and have most probably been used for medical purposes or schools and universities to study the human skeleton. With that out of the way, Dave also learned that it was worth around $1600, so in the end he decided to sell it, as there is a high demand for skeletons for medical purposes. Up next we have Dave Hester and his incredible find that shocked everyone on the show. As the bidding went on, Daryl, Barry and Dave were the last ones left, with Daryl being the first to drop out. When Dave offered $750 for the unit, Barry decided to drop out as well, explaining that he couldn't get close enough to the newspapers to check them out, see what they look like and figure out whether or not they're worth anything. When the storage wars baddie opened his locker, he concluded that he paid a lot of money for wrapping paper, so these better be worth something. Luckily for him, as soon as he began inspecting the newspapers, he found an issue of Memphis Press from August 16, 1977, the day Elvis Presley died. Moreover, all the newspapers were from the same day and were limited editions which made the $750 unit a gold mine as all the papers featured the face of the king of rock and roll. In one of the specials of the show, the cast talked about their weirdest finds among other things, and while they all said they had found a lot of pornography over the years, Laura Dotson told a story about how one woman once bought a unit with a 2x2x4 box in it that was wrapped in plastic. When she opened the box, she wasn't just disappointed to find nothing of value but actually horrified that instead she found a dead man inside and Daryl Sheets then revealed that something similar had happened to him in a storage locker in San Diego, California in the late 80s as well. The gambler didn't really want to talk about it and only said that it was unpleasant, adding that things like that can happen in this business as he had found ashes as well as coffins over the years. Considering that Storage Wars is all about items that may or may not be of value, the last thing you would expect to be found stashed in the storage unit is actual money. However, that's exactly what happened during one anonymous sale. At one point, a woman approached him and explained that her husband had bought a storage unit for 500 bucks from him and found a safe inside. The safe was taken to a locksmith and once they opened it, they found 7.5 million dollars stashed inside. However, this obviously raised some red flags and soon enough they were approached by an attorney who told them that the original owners were offering $600,000 in exchange for all the money from the safe. 
Since the couple declined the offer, the original owners made a second one of $1,200,000. Since nobody in their right mind would have $7.5 million in a storage unit just like that, the general belief was that the money stash was connected to the mafia or cartel and the reward of $1.2 million was probably an offer the couple couldn't refuse. There's no denying that there's a lot going on behind the scenes on the shows like Storage Wars, but nobody would have ever expected that the biggest and the most valuable find would happen when the cameras were not rolling. Back in 2011, Dan and Laura Dotson, the hosts of Storage Wars, revealed in an interview that they had auctioned off a pair of storage units for less than $2,000 to a customer who had decided to remain anonymous. Upon inspecting the lockers, the lucky customer found a hoard of real pirate treasure stashed inside, from Spanish gold pieces of eight to gold doubloons dating from the 16th century. Reportedly, the box was so heavy that three people had to join efforts to haul it out of the storage unit. When the cash was appraised, it was said to be valued at just over $500,000, and considering that the buyer was a newbie, the decision to remain anonymous was probably a good one since they had outdone all the storage war regulars. In Season 5 episode titled Zen Master of the Universe, Daryl Sheets and his son Brandon bought the locker that turned out to be the best one of the entire season. In a yet another risky move that turned out to be lucrative for the gambler, he and his son stumbled upon a whole lot of rare and collectible goods in the storage unit, with the collection being so big that he himself called it the holy grail of toys. There was a box full of rare spawn toys in mint condition as they haven't been unpacked, a crazy amount of G.I. Joes, Frankenstein collectible dolls, and super expensive McFarlane's King Kong. However, that was just the beginning, as there were tons and tons of boxes stacked in the storage unit containing Spider-Man, James Bond, Batman, and X-Men toys, along with some brand new wrestling figures and Hot Wheels. The icing on the cake made of a whole host of other collectibles was definitely a massive collection of comic books, as there was roughly 3,000 of them well preserved. The locker was a gift that kept on giving, and even though Daryl only roughly valued all the items to a total of $90,000, there were certainly some super rare and highly sought after collectibles hidden inside that only upped the total value. Daryl Sheets aka The Gambler has no problems justifying his nickname, and it's always fun to watch him take seemingly uncalculated risks that only occasionally pay off. However, in the finale of the third season, much to everyone's disbelief, the gambler had the last laugh as nobody could have anticipated the worth of the items in the unit he hastily purchased. Even though the locker in question seemed interesting, it wasn't really anything special but since he liked the looks of some of the artwork inside, Daryl bid $3,600 on it and won. It certainly was a lot of money to take on a gamble, but as it turned out, everyone was in for a big surprise as the locker was home to a whole slew of original paintings by Frank Gutierrez. Soon enough, an art expert was brought in to appraise the collection and ultimately estimated its worth well over $300,000, which floored the gambler. Allegedly, Daryl spoke with Gutierrez later on, as he initially owned the storage unit and he decided to return some of the items back to the original owner. Now, even though the contents of the locker were not exactly worth millions, this was one of the biggest storage unit finds in the show, and the value of the paintings will surely only grow in time, which only goes to show that sometimes, taking a risk and a shot in the dark pays off, at least for the gambler. Back in the fourth episode of the first season, inexperienced Barry won the bidding in a storage unit filled with salon supplies at $275. He had a hunch and was eager to see if it was right, so he took a dive inside the locker head first. Barry started removing items from the locker on his own, tossing and breaking merchandise in the process, and initially it seemed that it will be a bust, and he himself said that it looks like a disaster. However, after going through all the mess for some time, he stumbled across a cardboard box among all the hair salon paraphernalia. After cutting the bubble wrap, it turned out that his winning bid paid off quite a lot, as surprisingly, he found a model grand piano stashed inside. Realizing that it's something valuable, he decided to take the piano to a friend of his who was an expert in these things to find out how much it's worth. The expert was quite curious to see it, and after inspecting it concluded that it's a ridiculously valuable 1928 Marshall and Wendell miniature salesman piano sample, with detailing and wood being an exact replica of the grand piano. Not a bad haul of a rookie bidder. And uh, it turns out it had a $12,000 baby grand piano in it, so I think I'm going to trust this gut a little more often. Voila! There it is. Beautiful. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.